South Pacific contestants Whitney Duncan and Keith Tollefson got married in 2014. Now, they are going to be welcoming their first child together. Whitney Duncan from the 23rd season of Survivor announced Sunday she is pregnant with her first child with her former tribemate and husband Keith Tollefson. They have been married since 2014 and were looking forward to starting a family together. Whitney and Keith's child will be the sixth baby to come from a couple who met on the show. Following Amber Burkich and Rob Mariano's four daughters and Jamie Duggan Hoffman and Eric Hoffman's one son. When Whitney and Keith met on South Pacific, Whitney was still married. Their flirtation started in the game and continued on Ponderosa. In 2011, Whitney finalized her divorce to fellow musician Donnie Falgatter and got engaged to Keith in 2013. Before their wedding in July 2014, Whitney and Keith competed in the 25th season of The Amazing Race. On Easter Sunday, Whitney tweeted, Praise Jesus, we are pregnant. Our little miracle is due October 2022. Whitney, 37, hinted that getting to this point was not easy, adding, I'll share more of our long, hard journey at some point, but for now we are just so happy and excited. She wrote in the comments that the due date is October 23rd. She posted on her Instagram story Sunday that she is currently 13 weeks along. Several Survivor alums reached out to congratulate the Survivor couple. Rick Devens wrote, Yay! Congrats you all. Whitney's tribe mate on Survivor Ozzy Lusk commented, Oh my. Congrats you two three. To which Whitney responded, Thanks, Ozzy. At Keith Tollefson says hi. On Instagram, Whitney's musician friends offered their well wishes. The most recent American Idol winner, Chase Beckham, wrote, Congrats. These days, it's rare to see couples form on Survivor. While there was talk of love earlier in season 42 when Marianne Okatek lamented that her crush Zach Wurtenberger was voted off first. Contestants enter the game with the understanding that a showmance is not the best strategy. Whitney and Keith weren't necessarily targeted for being close with one another, they simply got screwed by the John Cochran flip, resulting in the slow dismantling of the Savy tribe. It could have been a blessing in disguise, however, because Whitney and Keith had plenty of time on Ponderosa to get to know one another better outside the confines of the game. Survivor may not be known for helping people find love, but with another baby from the show on the way, it's clear that spending all the time together on the island can lead to long-lasting romance and, eventually, a family. Thank you.